Let's say you're getting ready to graduate high school, you're getting ready to graduate college. What should you do to guarantee your financial security? My advice to you after graduation is to go and get yourself a federal government job for five years. If you're getting out of high school, from 18 to 23, five years, you're out by 23. The reason why it's five years is that's all it takes to lock in and guarantee a federal government pension. You'll start getting that pension when you're a lot older. You start drawing it at 62. So I know it seems like it's a far, far thing in, in the future and you're not even thinking that far ahead. And I don't blame you because when I was in my teenage years, when I was in my 20s, I never imagined what I would look like. What would I even do? I couldn't even fathom a concept of myself in my 30s. And here I am in my 40s. I wouldn't, I didn't even spend a second of a day thinking about, I wonder how the 40 year old Armand version is going to look like. Never crossed my mind. And that's the problem with a lot of people is we don't think that far into the future. But if you're willing to do five years, it's not five years for nothing. It's not just for a pension. You're actually getting experience during those five years, if you're willing to do that, then you have essentially guaranteed money for the rest of your life once you hit your elder years. And I don't know why more people are not doing this. When it comes to the federal government, when it comes to jobs in the government, young people are turned off. They don't want any parts of it. One of the reasons I get is because the salaries are higher at a lot of these private companies. If you're talking about Google, Amazon, Facebook, things like that, IT, if you're into IT, if you want to get into the medical field, all that stuff, the money's better there. But with a lot of these companies, they will offer you stock equity. They will offer you matching 401k, but they will not offer you a pension. Most of them will never offer you that type of security. So do that for five years. After that, jump into the private sector. Do whatever you want to do. Become an entrepreneur if you want. Take risks. Go overseas. You know, chase the money. Be Get into sales. Try that out for a few years. Learn more experiences. Make more money. And then after 30, 35 years of earning real money, let's say real money, right? Then after those 35 years, come on back. Do three more years in the government. Why? Because the government retirement system is based off the high three. Your top high three years of earning, that's what you're going to get paid off of. So your pension is going to be a lot higher because when you come back in to the government, when you first enter, it's going to be, G I mean, if you're a high school, GS4, GS5. If you're in the co if you're in college, college graduate, you probably come in GS7, you know, master degree, GS9, something like that. But when you come back into the government, it's not going to be at that low GS grade because you have three decades of experience. So you're going to be coming in GS 13, GS 14, GS 15. You're doing three years of that. And then right when you hit that age of 62, you're going to start getting the pension. So then, you know, for the next 20 plus years, however long you plan on living, you could do, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Focus on your hobbies, play with your grandkids, travel around the seas. Now, I'm not saying you have to wait until you're 62 to do all of this stuff. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, if you want something guaranteed that you don't have to do any guesswork with, you don't have to hope and pray that the market is cooperating because you want to retire at a certain year, and then that year gets here, and then, oh my goodness, we're in a recession. I can't retire this year. I have to wait. If you don't want to play those games, you have to, you have to at least consider taking the pension route the federal government route, or it doesn't have to be federal government, it could be state government. But just, you know, if think about it, this is mainly for the people that are in their younger years trying to figure out what to do next. I live kind of close to a university in Virginia, so I was thinking about this. I always see these college age kids, you know, walking around, running around. It gets closer to graduation time, you know, whether it be, what is it, May, June, somewhere around there, you have all these graduation ceremonies, these big parties that they throw. <laughs> And I'm wondering, you know, uh, I talked to some of these these kids that work in the restaurant industry. They're the, you know, they might be the waiter. And I'm like, hey, you know, what's your plans after school? I'm just kind of a curious individual like that. So I'll ask them. I'm like, hey, what are you planning to do after school? And they're like, oh, you know, my dad got me this internship lined up with this Fortune 100 company. And that's awesome. I mean, that's really great. But I have never come across a college age student, at least not in my area. And there's a lot of them here. There's tens of thousands of them here. Not one of them have said, "You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into the government 
using the recent student graduate pathway. And I'm gonna do, you know, three, three to five years, gain some experience, lock in some benefits, and then I'm gonna, you know, try to do something else. So I don't really think it's being talked about, and at least not the way that I'm talking about it here today, is that message is not really being communicated to a lot of the graduating youth in our country today. Now, when it comes to me in the, in the 1990s, the first thing that attracted me to the military was the pension. They said, hey, 20 years, you can get a pension for the rest of your life. I'm like, 20 years? I'm 17 now. That means when I'm 37, I get a pension? And they were like, yeah, that's exactly what it means. So something it clicked something in the back of my head where I knew this was a great opportunity and I jumped after it. But I know not everyone's going to agree with me. Let me know what you think down below. Is this a path that you would recommend to a young person to take? Or do you think their time is better served in the private sector doing something completely different? Let me know down below. Okay, so if you are interested in perhaps pursuing a government job, if you would like to get a government job, I wanna let you know that there's eight steps. There's eight main steps into getting a government job. And if you wanna know what those steps are, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.